Hello there, and welcome to this Astranti Bite Size video. In this specific video, we have taken an extract from our 100 question video series, where we go through individual exam questions. And this particular video goes through the economic order quantity model, the kind of question you might feasibly see in your exam, and the step-by-step -step process you should go through in order to answer it. So if you're ever unsure about how the economic order quantity models and how you'd actually answer it in practice, please watch this video as I go through those precise steps with you now. And if you want to see more videos like this objective test video, please go to strengthy.com where we offer a full course of SEMA materials just like this one. The first question we're going to look at concerns the application of inventory management methods, which include the calculation of the economic order quantity model, otherwise known as the EOQ model. Now, when doing any exam question, the first thing I recommend you always do is to find the question requirement line, as that is the line that will tell you what it is you need to do in order to answer the question. And we can see that at the bottom here, we're being asked to calculate the number of orders LQS we need to make per year in order to satisfy demand while minimizing inventory costs. Hmm. Well, if we're being asked to calculate the order frequency, that will also minimize inventory costs, then we're clearly talking about using the economic order quantity model, as the EOQ model has a formula associated with it that is designed to minimize inventory costs while satisfying demand. And the formula is written like so. So we have the economic order quantity is equal to the square root of 2 times CO multiplied by D all over CH. Now, what on earth do these letters, these arcane letters mean? Well, firstly, D is quite simply the demand, okay? It is the number of units that LQS will need in order to satisfy its customers. But there is a little caveat with this, which we'll see in the scenario in the second. CO is the cost of placing one order, okay? Cost of placing one order. So think of your postage costs when you pay for something online. That is the cost of ordering one unit. That is independent of the purchase cost. CH is the cost of storing or holding, rather, the cost of holding one unit. So we have our variables. Now let's look at the scenario and see if we can figure out which numbers relate to these three letters. The first sentence, LQS is a manufacturer of computer parts, is flavor text. It's nonsense, it's irrelevant to the question. The second sentence, however, does indicate to us what the demand is. We can see that LQS sells 8,000 parts per year, but in order to sell 8,000 parts, it needs to purchase 26,000 units of a specialized material. Now, the 8,000 is meant to distract you. It's meant to trick you in order to choose the incorrect demand figure. But remember, if we are selling 8,000 units, but we need 26,000 in order to sell 8,000, then our demand will be 26,000 units. Okay? The second sentence says that in order to purchase one unit of the specialized material, it will cost LQS 20 pounds. Now, this is the purchase cost. And we can see from our three variables that there is no purchase cost. So this number is there to distract you. It is not relevant to the EOQ. The next statement, however, is, as we can see, it costs LQS 192 pounds to place a single order. So we can immediately say that CO is equal to 192 pounds. Moving on, when the material arrives, it is be securely stored in a specialized container. Again, flavor text irrelevant. The last sentence, though, does say that the cost of holding this material in storage is 10 pounds per unit. Well, if we can see that, CH is the cost of holding one unit, 
then we know that CH is equal to 10 pounds. We now have all three variables, so we can start to work out the EOQ. So if we input our figures, EOQ is equal to the square root of 2, which is a constant number, you do not change it, multiplied by CO, which is 192, multiplied by D, which is demand, which is 26,000, which you can see on the left of the screen, all over CH, which we just worked out to be 10 pounds. With these mathematical calculations, a little tip is to always work them out in stages to avoid mistakes in your calculation. So the first thing we're gonna do is calculate the numerator of the EOQ formula. So we're gonna do the EOQ is equal to the square root, and we're gonna multiply out the top, so two times 192, multiply by 26,000 will give us a figure of 9,984,000 divided by 10, which is a very easy calculation. So that is the square root of 998,400. So the last step in our calculation now is to square root 998,400, which gives us a figure of 999.2 if we round the figure to one decimal place. Now the EOQ model tells us how many units LQS will need to purchase per order in order to minimize inventory costs. Well, we can't have 0.2 of a unit. They've got to be whole numbers. Imagine if you bought 0.2 of a phone, right? Doesn't happen. So we need to round this figure to 999, as that is the nearest whole number. Now the final step, because we haven't finished yet, is to work out how many orders LQS will need to make per year. So if LQS needs to order 26,000 units over the course of the entire year to satisfy demand, and they purchase 999 units per order, then if we divide 26,000 by 999, we get 26.03, again rounded to two decimal places this time, just to show you the number. But again, we can't have 0 0.03 of an order so we round it to the nearest whole number, which is 26. So in your exam, you would write here 26 orders. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to view more content like this, including mocks, revision notes, and even question tutorials, you can head on over to the Astranti website where we offer a full course that gives you access to this wide variety of materials and more to help you pass your exam. Now, if you'd like to get in contact with us and see more posts like this, you can subscribe to our social media channels, which include Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.